I didn't really expect it to happen, but I think you know he's done a lot for a sport, and I think he. Uh, I understand where he's coming from. He didn't necessarily retire. He just said he needs a break. I mean, the guy's uh, he's done so much, had so many big fights, and I think he's uh, lived with a lot of pressure, fight after fight. And I think he just wants to walk away, maybe a year, maybe 18 months, maybe forever. I think he wants to just regroup without the pressure of uh, having to constantly defend his belt and figure out what he wants in life. I think it was. Uh, I don't think it was a bad decision. I mean, if I had to guess, I would say, yeah, you th I think he's, uh, so, he's still so young, so talented, and so motivated. I think he's going to walk away for a year or so, and I think the fire's going to come back, and he's going to want to step back in and uh, try to reclaim his title. I mean, uh, I mean you, you could definitely argue that case. I think maybe Lawler got thrown a little early. You know, he was coming off multiple losses, I think, until uh, UFC where he's, he has done a good win streak, and, you know, he's looked great his last three fights, and I like Raul, uh, Lawler, so I don't want to knock him, but I think he, uh, you know, he does have some losses not too long ago. I think it's going to be a good fight, but I'm probably going to pick Hendricks. I think Hendricks is, you know, better wrestling, stand-up, they're going to be pretty even, both southpaws, both heavy hitters. It's, it's an interesting fight. Uh, I think it definitely be worth a title shot for my next fight, you know, having just beat um, Damian Maia with flipping line for a title shot. I mean, uh, um, Tyron Woodley's been looking like a monster. You know, I've been beating these guys at the top, so I think uh, if I beat him, especially if I beat him in a decisive fashion, I think it puts me next in line for the title. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't feel any older, but, you know, age, I mean, 35 really is an older number. So I think it is, you know, I do need to be, that's why I'm trying to be more serious right now and really dedicated and really trying to make this title run. It's like anything can happen, you know, like, I mean, maybe I'll be fine in five, six years, you don't know, but it's, uh, it's unpredictable. So I'm trying to really take this, uh, this opportunity to make it count. Yeah, I've been watching him for years. I think he's uh, one of the best guys out there. I think he's a complete monster. I think he was really un underrated because underrated he wasn't in the UFC, and his, uh, his performance in the UFC have been on and off, but I think when he's on, he's an absolute monster. You know, he's got huge power, a judo Olympian, uh, good submission. I mean, he's fearless. He comes in and throws those big, uh, those big power shots. So he's a guy I'm definitely uh, happy to study tape and come up with a game plan for. He's really powerful, but I mean, he has he has gone some five round fights too. So he doesn't he, he gasses a little, but he doesn't completely gas. So we don't want to rely on that. But yeah, I definitely want to put the pace, get him tired, and uh, bring him into my world. Uh, I just think I'm trying to you know eat a little cleaner, sleep a little sleep a little better, not go out. I'm trying to be uh, you know younger, you go out partying and having fun. I'm trying to I mean, obviously it's not my birthday. That was the one exception. But I'm trying to you know trying to trying to just live really clean and healthy because I'm a little older. So you got to let your body rest and. Also, like we said earlier, you know, I don't know how many more, uh, how many more shots I'm going to have at this uh, top-level competition, so I want to make this count. I'd love to you know, go out there and uh, TKO him or Smith him, any way to finish him. You know, I believe he's never been finished, so, it's, uh, so he's a really durable guy, but I would love to be the first to go in there and put him away.